perception, finding meaning in the object. So through capturing time and objects and body parts, we see work, we see the framing of abstract moments. 1962 image. Imagine this Chicago, uh, I mean, this is West Germany. There's an image that relates to this in, in the exhibition that's about abstraction through Chicago's um, um, landscape and cityscape. Nathan Lerner's Eye and String. We, uh, we see, you know, someone who's interested in science and eyes and the light and the abstraction of light and how we see Eva Rubinstein's um, finds image of a bed and mirror. Um, how do we imagine this poetic moment? The mirror, um, the, the sheet, the white sheet and the light, the light um, that, that filters through the room. Sheila Pre Bright uh, image here is cotton from the Invisible Empire series. Um, images of, of women, um, busy fingers to Anthony uh, Aziz image here of interior spaces. Uh, we can see cave-like spaces, but lighting and how as we, as we move through this series. Holly Roberts, a uh, woman with baby, uh, 1991, a wonderful way of exposing stories about womanhood, um, maternity and, 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 and objects that we see that are obscured um, because of a role playing. Sheila Pre Wright, uh, Bright's photograph of plastic bodies. We have two images in the series of, of the reimagined Barbie. To this image in conversation with the images, David Leventhal's image of Barbie at the beach, 1999, untitled. How do we see this, that he creates these miniatures with large uh, 20 by 24 Polaroid images. And then finally ending, with Lorna Simpson's uh, photograph here as we think about how we are measured and what stories are told through the, the body and these odd experiences. So the, the relationship of the exhibition, as we flow through these 96 images, we'll see multiple stories um, from different um, experiences that vary and in the way that we read American photography, photography from Europe, and, but also there are a number of images that you know, I would have loved to in incorporate it in the show that shares the relationships um, that many of the photographers felt about how to think about society from their, their time period, their, what was going on in their lives. But I, I also wanted to show the impact that the photography collection and the other curators and educators over the last century looked at photography to create a way to imagine narratives that we see throughout the years and through their lifetime.